Look, I, I don't know how, how Tim Tebow, how his NFL career will will end up. I don't know on numbers and technique and 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 being uh, you know running the offense. But I will tell you this: he's a winner. He's a battler. He's a warrior. He's in the huddle telling everybody, "Man, come on, let's let's do this." And 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 there's something about that that every team needs. You know, it's what we what we call in the game it factor. Yeah. Yep. You know. When you got it, you got. Hey, I, I, whether you're a religious person or not, clearly he is. Oh yeah. Uh, hey, there's an energy out there. Whatever you want to call it, God. What? And, and I just can't help but get very spiritual when I talk about this kid. Yeah, and that, because and that's he embodies the, that. He does. He lives it. You know, we, we're followers of Christ. I under, One of the things I think a lot of people misunderstand about Christians, now I'm not talking about cultural Christians who just, you know, live a life that uh, that looks like everybody else, but every now and then they say Jesus or point to heaven. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking yeah. about people like him who follow Christ. I mean, they, yeah. he, he lives it in his life. It, it applies to everything and and you know I'm trying to teach some 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 boys this now that I'm coaching with, you know there's a great analogies with with all sports and 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 faith, and and especially football. But I think what a lot of Christians totally miss in the mandate of being a follower of Christ is a call to excellence, a call to be a warrior. This is yeah. not some kind of passive. Um, you know, we unfortunately I think where where a lot of men have been turned off. Uh, by the church is because the church has has given them some vision that become to become a follower of Christ that somehow that is not masculine that you're supposed to you know uh, drop kick your masculinity when uh, you know Jesus Christ you don't uh, need it <laughs> was was one of the greatest warriors of all time and uh, and 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 it's actually a call to be to to experience true masculinity and that's what you see in Tim Tebow Tebow he is everything that the the Bible calls him to be as a man. And and that translate to be a great leader on the field. Oh, it, you guys, it does, and and I can't help but think it every time I think of him. I'm like, I just think of this is a guy that 100 percent of the time he's doing the right thing. He's not out at night. He's not at strip clubs. Right. You know, he's not messing around with women. Uh, you know, he is just doing the right thing. And I tell you what, to have, I want I want my, my quarterback doing the right thing. <laughs> right. Okay? Well, hey. yeah.